We'll be showing you how to maul a two wide, two high assembly with one vertical structural maul. For reference, we'll be using the standard Marvin alphanumeric mulling labels throughout. The top row of any mold assembly is the A row, while the row below is the B, and so on. The first window on the left as seen from the exterior are designated with a number starting with 1. Use a hacksaw, rotary tool, or oscillating tool to remove material from the corners of the individual units. Remove about 1 8 inch of material from the accessory kerf that runs perpendicular to the direction of the mold. Remove any shim blocks along the mulls. Also, remove shim blocks from the top and bottom corners where they will interfere with the mull bracket. Install mull filler blocks at the top and bottom of each unit, approximately 6 inches from each end. Establish an exterior plane along the sill. Use a laser level or snap line. This will be especially helpful for larger assemblies. Position the B1 unit in the opening. Plumb the unit in the opening, then shim and fasten at the top and bottom using the 3 inch installation screws provided. If not done from the factory, fasten the mole pin on top of the B1 unit. Apply sealant on the exterior of the B1 unit. Mull the A1 unit on top of the B1 unit. Shim and fasten the A1 jam using the 3 inch installation screws provided. Fasten the A1 unit to the mull pin. If you are mulling a casement unit above another assembly, you will need to fasten the hardware base to the mull using the one and a quarter inch trilobular screws. Pre-drill with a number 23 drill bit. Install the exterior horizontal mull clip, seat with a rubber mallet. Position the mull bracket on the sill. The bracket should sit flush with the bottom of the frame. Set the bottom of the mull tube on the sill bracket. While holding the top mull bracket in the top end of the tube steel, position the steel tight against the mull filler blocks. Clamp the tube steel to the assembly. Adjust the frame and sill bracket until the frame is on the correct exterior plane and the bracket is square in the opening. Pre-drill through the holes in the bracket with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Inject sealant in the pre-drilled holes. Fasten the bracket to the sill using the 3 inch installation screws provided. Adjust the top mull bracket and then block or shim the bracket firmly against the rough opening. The bracket should sit firmly in the hollow of the tube steel. Fasten the bracket with the 3 inch screws provided. Using the pre-drilled holes in the frame as a guide, drill through the steel with a number 23 drill bit. Fasten the frame to the steel using the number 8 by 1 half inch trilobular screws. Remove the mall filler blocks and discard. Attach the mall filler to the frame assembly. Center the filler on the frame about 3 8 inch from each end. Cut the mall filler of the B2 unit to length. Apply the filler to the frame. The filler should be about 3 8 inch from the bottom and flush with the top. 
set the B2 unit in place, and clamp to the previous assembly. Adjust the B2 unit to the correct plane, and then fasten the entire assembly through the pre-drilled holes in the sill. Using the pre-drilled holes in the frame as a guide, drill through the steel with a number 23 drill bit. Fasten the frame to the steel using the number 8 by 1 half inch trilobular screws. Shim and fasten the B2 jam to the rough opening. If not attached from the factory, Apply the horizontal mole pin on top of the B2 unit. Apply a bead of sealant around the top edge of the filler block. Apply sealant on the top of the B2 unit. Install the A2 unit. Clamp the A2 unit to the assembly. Plumb the A2 unit and fasten with the 3 inch screws provided. Fasten the A2 unit to the B2 unit. Install the exterior horizontal mole clip. Seat it with a rubber mallet. Using the pre-drilled holes in the frame as a guide, drill through the steel with a number 23 drill bit. Fasten the frame to the steel using the number 8 by 1 half inch trilobular screws. Complete shimming and fastening around the entire perimeter using the pre-drilled installation holes. Use a screen spline roller to apply the frame kerf weather strip along the mole. Apply three beads of sealant over the mole fillers, one on each side and one in between the fillers. Apply sealant on the ends of the mole filler. Seat foam blocks in the sealant. Install the exterior mole cover. Seat in place with a rubber mallet. 